Hey, hi, how you doing? I'm turning the music down a little bit. Ah, good afternoon, good morning, good evening. This is Captain Kazoo, and this is Captain Kazoo's Kazoo Review on YouTube and other places. It's all a lot of other places also. Anyway, special programming today, and uh, maybe we're going to make one, two, I don't know how many videos we're going to have to make. I only get 10 minutes for each one, or 10 minutes per second. <laughs> Per section. Uh, today's programming is about the Vocalizer 1000, uh, the uh, world's only personalized synthesizer. Okay, I get a lot of requests about where to get them, how to play them, blah 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 blah. I don't mean blah 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 in the sense it's nonsense. What I mean is I get a lot of questions about everything concerning the vocalizer. In fact, I've got one right in front of me that I've printed out. And uh, I'm going to take, take this guy down here so I, can, so I can talk or read without too much interruption. And this is from, from a gentleman. In fact, I got two or three emails this morning about the vocalizer and about the saxy, the saxy and the vocalizer. Uh, and sometimes I play the vocalizer with the saxy. Uh, you follow what I mean? I've tried, I've played the vocalizer with a, a galvanic skin response monitor, with the saxy, with the kazoo, with a lot of different uh, other types of ooh, instruments. We'll call them instruments. Anyway, let me read you this letter. This is, this is actual email. Uh, love your site and your YouTube videos. Uh, blah 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 absolutely fascinated by the vocalizer 1000 and by the saxy blah blah fascinated and I wonder if there are other is he, this particular individual this gentleman is wondering if there are any other things out there like that well yes there are quite a few things go to your local music store uh, uh, electronic music store like a place like Guitar Center or something like that, that has every possible type of electronic keyboard and electronic instruments and talk to them and they will know. I don't know what's going on in the industry. I don't, I, I have enough time, I have enough trouble keeping up with myself, let alone, all, but there's one thing, there's the Yamaha Easy Trumpet. Look up Yamaha Easy Trumpet on Google. I have even talked to people, friends of mine, who have international connections, and they say that the easy trumpet is impossible to get. But I've got an order in. I don't know if I'll ever get one. And it's just like a trumpet, and you play it like a trumpet, but it's really like a kazoo. Figure that out. So it's a has some sort of system similar to a vocalizer, but who knows what, and I don't know, blah, blah, blah. That's the only other thing I know about, but there are other electronic instruments, synthesizers that, that are voice activated. But I don't, I don't know everything about everything. Okay, I'm basically a kazoo person, right? So I know about kazoos, but the, the vocalizer I categorize that as a uh, electronic kazoo because you're humming into it the same as you do into a kazoo. And at the same time, it's playing a lot of different sounds other than what a kazoo does, which is simply make the sound you're making with your voice a little raspy, okay? Let me finish with this uh, gentleman's letter. Uh, are the background sounds it generates required to play a solo on the V1000? Well, no. No. Let me, let me, let me let, allow me to demonstrate. Let's turn up this here. This is a background sound. You can play your kazoo along with it, right? Okay, to do. 
Wonderful thing about the uh, about the saxy and the sax, or rather the uh, the vocalizer and the vocalizer mouthpiece is the fact that this is very sensitive instrument. It 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 doesn't track as well as the saxy because it has a thing called uh, voice guide, and the voice guide is supposed to help you stay in tune, but the voice guide is an independent entity. It decides itself without any help from you or even any consideration of what you might be trying to do because it doesn't know what song you want to play, right? Mm. It doesn't know that. So you turn off everything, right? Let me see if I can do this without blowing myself up. Uh, you turn off this. Put this guy in here. Why they do these things, I don't know. Never did say. See this. He's either background sounds it generates required to play a solo. They're not required. Are the solos constrained by the background? No. Or can you just play leads independently? Can you turn off the background? Yes. The background's not on there. And what I have is what I'm selecting as my instrument is a saxy. All right, let's go with a flute. Now, the interesting thing comes here, and the next question is, uh, the instructions I saw for the product are not clear about how much freedom the player has to create his own independent leads. I'm looking for a solar instrument that works like the V like the V1000. I wonder if you found anything out there so far. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. The problem is this, my friend. Let's say I want to play Happy Birthday. Okay? Happy Birthday. Let me put on voice guide. It's my voice guide. It's supposed to guide my voice. Now that'll let me do make any bad. Let. What can I tell you? Bad tracking and, and very sensitive. Now there is a section that's why you desperately need in order to do anything of any consequence with this machine. You've got to get you got to get yourself page what was that what what page was this on? Uh, editing about everything that you need to know here about the vocal is it is in this book and I'm unfortunately I'm not gonna take the time to go through all the pages of this book. You can go on the internet 
simply go to go to Google. Uh, put in uh, Vocalizer 1000, Breakaway Vocalizer 1000. It'll take you to all sorts of, of, of websites and pages that tell you everything you ever wanted to know about the Vocalizer. Okay? Now, I'm probably going to have to stop here and say we're going to stop here and we're going to go on to Part 2. Okay? I don't usually say Part, but I want to say Part 2 here so I can identify things when I'm trying to edit this or, or whatever is going to happen whenever we do anything at all. Uh, I The stuff that I play, you never hear me play regular stuff. You, well, you know what I'm saying? I play... I let the vocalizer take me Melody comes from. Uh, I'm listening to the background and I'm playing something that coincides with the background. I don't. I don't know what it is. I don't have. I don't know what's going to be next because none of the backgrounds that I have are backgrounds for uh, for uh, Happy Birthday. Are they? No. Because let's say I put on. Uh, Let's put on a rock. Okay? I want to play Happy Birthday.
what I guess what I what I guess one of the reasons, if not the big reason, that a, a great deal of lure has grown up around the vocalizer, like it's this fantastic instrument. And I have really, uh, I don't know, I don't know whether I played a part in that or not, but my approach has always been to let the vocalizer do whatever it wants to do, and I'll do my best to stay with it, and, 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 and then the two of us combined create what I consider to be a piece of music. Now, remember, I'm not a conventional musician. I don't play conventional music. At least not 99.4400 percent of the time. I'm playing abstract music or non-objective music, what I call not music. That is non N O T N N N O T non-objective trance is a type of music that what I call what I create. Now maybe it's not even music. Maybe it's just noise. I don't know. That's not my problem. I'm not in, I'm not, I don't sell anything. I don't sell any music. If I make music, I give it away. Uh, you, hey, you, uh, I'm just, I just have a new offer on, on the TV, <laughs> on the YouTube, which is, and on my website, www.captainkazoo.com, free. The the uh, uh, hum don't blow video hum don't blow, which is a compilation of all of the video reviews that I made about the uh, how to play the kazoo book kit, how to play the kazoo, kazoo kit that came out uh, at the end of last year uh, from Barnes and Noble and was a complete disaster because the kazoo was a piece of junk from crap and Barnes and Noble. Uh, maybe they knew about it, maybe they didn't know about it, but uh, I alerted them to that fact. They were quite uh, shocked, quite taken aback. And when they found out that what I said was absolutely true, they simply took the whole business off the market. So you can get the DVD Hum Don't Blow for free. Just send your name and address to CaptainKazoo at gmail.com. Name and address. No money, no nothing. No shipping. Everything is free. I'll send you a copy. It's a promotion. I think everybody ought to see this. Okay? Hum. Don't blow. How to play the kazoo. From Sterling Innovations on Captain Kazoo's Kazoo Review. Hum. Don't blow. Anyway. Back to the vocalizer. At least for a second. And then I'm going to close this out. For the time being. Don't ask me any more questions. I don't know. I only do what I do. I am told that what I do is interesting, but I don't care. Okay? This is Captain Kazoo saying, don't ask me any more questions about the vocalizer. It's not what you think it is, and it won't work the way you hope it to work. So I'm going to say goodbye and keep on humming.